If you were waiting for the bottom to buy, well, honestly, it looks like we're here. Actually, it appears as if we're on the way back up. March 2023 was the second month in a row that we saw an increase in the average price of a Toronto home since we started seeing interest rate increases a year ago. Now, speaking on interest rates, if you were waiting for rates to come down, well, guess what? They did. We're at a pretty quote unquote normal fixed rate at this point. Depending on your situation and the terms of a mortgage you qualify for, you're likely looking at around 5%, maybe even a little bit under that between four and a half and 5%. Don't quote me on that. As always, speak to a mortgage broker who can qualify you and let you know your options. I'm always happy to recommend some great brokers, uh, but that's about where we stand currently, which is basically what buyers were being stress tested at last year when we had those very low rates. And please be clear, those were extremely low rates brought on by rare circumstances, and we will likely never see those types of rates that we saw in 2021 and 2022 again in our lifetime. That was an anomaly, so please don't use that as a baseline. Also, I believe there's a bit of a misconception around interest rates. In the industry, we talk a lot about the Bank of Canada raising interest rates, and you've been seeing a ton of headlines talking about this stuff. To clarify, when the Bank of Canada changes their overnight rate, what that's having an effect on in terms of mortgages are variable rates. What can happen with variable rates is an entire video unto itself. But for the sake of this video, all you need to know is that all of these interest rate increases have been impacting anyone who had a variable rate mortgage. And that is a good number of people because when rates were so low, having a variable rate wasn't so scary. But for you as a buyer in 2023, you will likely be getting a fixed rate mortgage. Now, with get, uh, getting too much into the weeds here, fixed rates follow the bond market, which has been trending downwards. And so, as I mentioned, fixed rates now sit at about four and a half to five percent range. And that's actually quite reasonable and overall, historically speaking, relatively low. So. That being said, these are the two most common things I hear from potential buyers and that they're, that is that they're waiting for prices to come down and slash or they're waiting for rates to come down as well. And I always stress this, do not try to time the market. When you hear realtors say it's always a good time to buy, that really in a sense can be true, but it should be prefaced with for those who are ready, have saved a down payment are in, and are in a position to buy then it is a great time for you. I'm not trying to give people a hard time or push anyone into anything that they're not ready for. However, if you are one of the people who's been saying things like the stuff I've been talking about here, and maybe even using these ex excuses as a crutch, the fact that you're waiting for prices to come down, you're waiting for interest rates to come down, then this could be the sign that you've been waiting for. I just really wanna help create some clarity around this so that you can make a decision based on data and not emotion. I understand it can be intimidating to actually take action. Even after you've spent months looking at homes online, you told your friends you're in the market, but that's why you work with a professional who can help guide you through the process and take a lot of the stress and guess out of it. If you have any questions whatsoever, or you'd like to discuss your journey, feel free to book a call using the link in the description below. I look forward to chatting. Till then, stay well and stay hungry.